Hello everyone. Welcome to MSF Deep Webcast. In this video, we will learn the steps on how to set up Active Directory domain on Windows Server 2022. To create a new forest or a new domain or to add a domain controller to an existing domain, we must install the Active Directory domain services role on a Windows Server 2022 computer and then run the Active Directory Domain Services Configuration Wizard to configure it. In this video, we'll learn how to install and configure the Active Directory Domain Services role on Windows Server 2022. We will need to sign in to a Windows Server 2022 as an administrator and open the Server Manager dashboard. Before installing Active Directory Domain Services role, Ensuring the server has a static IP address is important. Click on Manage and select Add Rules and Features. We should see the Add Rules and Features wizard. Click on Next button. On the Select Installation Type screen, select Rule Base or Feature Base Installation and click Next. In the Select Destination Server screen, select the server on which you want to install Active Directory Domain Services. We will select the local Windows Server 2022 to install Active Directory Domain Services rule. Click Next. Choose the Active Directory Domain Services box from the Server Rules page. As soon as we choose Active Directory Domain Services, a new window appears. This pop-up window prompts us to include all the required features for Active Directory Domain Services. Click on Add Features button. We also want to install DNS Server rule, so choose the DNS Server box. Again, click on Add Features to include required features for DNS service. We should now see a tick mark next to the Active Directory Domain Services and DNS Server rules. Click Next to continue. On the Features page, the basic features for required roles are already selected by default. Just click Next. On the Active Directory Domain Services page, we can read brief information about the Active Directory Domain Services. Click Next to continue. On the DNS Server page, we can also read brief information about the DNS Server role. Click Next to continue. Review our installation selections for confirmation before proceeding with the actual installation. Click on Install to start the installation process. Installation process has been started. This will take few seconds to complete the installation of Active Directory Domain Services and DNS Server role on this Windows Server 2022. The installation process has been completed successfully. Click on the Close button to close the installation wizard. Now that the installation has completed successfully, we are going to go ahead with Active Directory Domain Services configuration to promote this Windows Server 2022 to be a first domain controller in a new Active Directory forest. On Server Manager, we will see a yellow notification flag next to the Manage menu. Click on Yellow Notification Flag. To begin the Active Directory Domain Services configuration, we need to click on Promote this server to our Domain Controller link. This will start Active Directory Domain Services configuration wizard. We are going to install a new Active Directory forest and with the root domain name msftwebcast.com. Choose Add a new forest option and enter the root domain name, which is msftwebcast.com in our case. After entering the root domain name, click Next to continue. Select the forest functional level and domain functional level and specify domain controller capabilities as per your requirement. Forest and domain functional level determines the Active Directory domain services and forest capabilities as well as determine which operating system can be run in the domain controller. 
Windows Server 2016 is the highest forest and domain functional levels available in Windows Server 2022 which are same as Windows Server 2016 and Windows Server 2019 we will keep Windows Server 2016 as forest and domain functional level since this is our first domain controller in new active directory forest and that's why under specified domain controllers capability we can see dns and global catalog checkbox are already selected tap the directory service restore mode password dsrm password is used only when we need to boot the server into directory services restore mode to perform maintenance task once you choose forest and domain functional level and specify directory service restore mode password click next to continue on the dns options page there will be a notification at the top stating a delegation for this dns server cannot be created because the authoritative parent zone cannot be found ignore it and click next to continue on the additional options page we can modify the netbys domain name as long as it does not exceed 15 characters we are also able to keep the netbys domain name as default once we have made a selection click on next on this page specify the location of the eddas database folder log files folder and sysvol folder keep it as default location as of now and click on next at this stage the server will display a summary of the selections we have made if you are good with the selections you have done click next to proceed to the next step a prerequisites check will be performed before active directory domain services is installed on this windows server 2022 if no error is detected we can click on install to promote a server as domain controller a server will restart automatically once the installation is complete If all is okay click on install to begin the installation process The active directory domain services configuration is in progress This will take some time to complete the configuration process After completion the server will reboot automatically The active directory domain services configuration process has been completed successfully A server is now going to reboot automatically After reboot, press Ctrl Alt Delete key combination to unlock the server. The login name is changed to domain name slash username. Enter administrator account password to log in to our newly promoted domain controller. The server manager will open automatically. On server manager, click on Tools and then select. active directory users and computers we can see that our domain name is there click on domain controllers ou we can see our windows server 2022 computer name ws2022 hyphen dc01 is listed as a domain controller for msftwebcast.com active directory domain let's open dns manager as well On Server Manager dashboard, click on Tools and select DNS. Let's expand the server name. Under Forward Lookup Zone, we can see we have two Active Directory integrated primary DNS zones: msftwebcast.com and underscore msdcs.msftwebcast.com. Let's create a Reverse Lookup Zone on our local DNS server. Let's right click on reverse lookup zones and select new zone. Click on next. It is going to be primary zone and active directory integrated. Click next. We want to set zone replication scope to all DNS servers running on domain controllers in this domain msftwebcast.com. Click next. It is going to be IP version 4 reverse lookup zone. Click next. Let's specify the network ID, which is going to be one seven two dot one eight 
1.72 in my case. So based on the IP address, you can specify the network ID. Click next. We want to set up only secure dynamic updates, which is recommended for Active Directory. Click next. Now I'm going to click on finish. The reverse lookup zone has been created successfully. Let's add pointer record for our domain controller. Let's right click here and select new pointer. Click on browse, double click on our server name, double click on for lookup zone and I'm going to select our DNS zone msftwebcast.com. Let's select our server ws2022-dc01. Click OK. So we can see the host IP address is there 172.18.72.50 and the host name is ws2022-dc01.msftwebcast.com. Click OK to create new pointer record. Let's check that. Perfect. The preferred DNS server's address is also changed to 127.0.0.1. If you want, you can change the preferred DNS server's IP address to service static IP address. To do so, click on local server, click on the R IP address, select Ethernet adapter and go for the properties. Select IP version 4 and here, instead of using the loopback address, I'm going to specify the server's static IP address, which is 172.18.72.50. Click OK. Click OK. And let's close it. At this point, we have successfully installed and configured Active Directory Domain Service and DNS Server role on this Windows Server 2022. Now, this server will work as a primary domain controller for new Active Directory Forest, msftwebcast.com. I hope you found this video helpful on how to install and configure Active Directory Domain Services with DNS Server role on Windows Server 2022. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. That's all for this video. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.